Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Guys, I need your help. I recently went out fishing with a buddy and we got into a little bit of an argument over something. And I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say because I'm adamant in one direction and my buddy thought I was completely nuts and feels 100% different than I do on this. And the background story is this. We went fishing the other day. I picked him up at his house. He threw four pre-rigged rods into the boat we drove to the ramp, we start fishing. I catch a couple of fish right off the bat on a new Berkeley Pit Boss, one of my favorite baits. We're just flipping wood on the river, doing nothing special. The fish weren't that big, but they were three decent fish, keeper sized fish. My buddy had not had a bite yet. Throughout the day, probably an hour later, we start talking a little bit more and he's like, oh, I haven't fished in three weeks. And I was like, oh yeah? I'm like, how do you make it that long? Cause this is a, normally a guy that fishes all the time. And he's like, oh, you know, I had a vacation and this and that. And he's like, I just threw the rods in the garage and grabbed them this morning and threw them in your boat when I picked you up. I was like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, I've got the same baits tied on that I had on last time out. He had on a couple of crank baits, he had a chatter bait, and he had a Texas rig bait with a chigger craw on it because that's he's a chigger craw guy. So we're out fishing, and he never got a bite in that first couple hours until he said that conversation. I was like, so those are the same baits you had tied on three weeks ago and he's like yeah and I said so even your chigger craw is the same one from three weeks ago he's like yep and I was like so is that this like do you think that could be the reason why you're not getting bit and he's like no and I'm like so you don't think maybe it's lost some of that power bait smell maybe the texture is toughened up a little maybe it's just not as in good a condition as it was when it was straight out of the bag and he looked at me and he laughed and I was like, I kind of feel like you're crazy because personally, when I'm out fishing, I like to start the day with a new bait, you know, especially when I'm talking about like a power bait that is so strong smelling, or I really like the Berkeley power bait max scent baits as well. And the max scent baits are kind of, they've got like that moisture on them to the point where if you leave them out, they can kind of dry up and toughen up. So I like to make sure that I've got a fresh one to start the day. And at the same time, if I'm out fishing, when I'm done on the water, every day I'm done, I make sure that I ziplock all my bags, regardless of the plastic brand. If they've got some sort of smell or scent or liquid in that bag, I zip it up to make sure that it's sealed tight until the next time I go out, because I don't want that max scent drying up and evaporating. I don't want my, my power baits losing some of that power bait smell. So I'm curious, am I nuts? Or do you think that could have been something that cost that guy a few bites? You know, I, I feel the same way about like when I've got a bait, say like this pit boss, if one of these legs gets ripped off, I don't feel like the other three work properly. I don't feel like I get the same motion. It's just like if you're throwing a, a Kitek with a boot tail, if that Kitek boot tail gets torn barely, like a quarter inch tear where maybe it caught the swim bait hook, the tail doesn't swim nearly as good when that happens. So I replace the bait. I feel like I'm in a better position to put a fresh bait on, but maybe that's confidence. Maybe it's mental. Maybe I'm just sitting here going, hey, I like a fresh bait because it makes me feel better and therefore I'm, I'm fishing better, which means I'm making more accurate casts. Maybe I'm crazy. So I wanna know from you guys, do you think him showing up with a bait that's been on his on his hook for three weeks, sitting in his garage, absorbing musty smells and blah, 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 is any better or any worse than a fresh one right out of the bag. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say, so please leave it in the comment section. I'm gonna use this to settle a bet. I'm not gonna tell you what the bet is, but I've got a little side bet with my fishing partner on this one. So I wanna know what you have to say. So just like in the comment section, just leave, uh, leave a comment that says new bait or used bait, and that'll tell me what one you're, you're preferring. But I'm very interested to see what you have to say because, well, let's just put it this way. I hope I'm right on this because if I lose this little bet wager, it's not gonna be a fun one. Maybe I'll fill you in later on what the wager is. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think because I'm all new bait all the way. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, yada, yada, yada. Stay tuned. We'll have another video coming out tomorrow for you.